Hi friends, my name is Leah and I work at Pensbury Manor. Pensbury Manor is the reconstructed 17th century country home of William Penn. William Penn was the founder and first governor of Pennsylvania. His original house was built in the 1680s, but unfortunately it did not survive past 1800. So what we have now was built later on. The building that we have today at Pensbury was built in the 1930s. So we get to study not only the colonial history of the site, but also the early 1900s history of how the reconstruction was made. What I find most exciting about this site is the archeology span that was done at Pensbury in the 1930s. Archeology span is the study of the physical evidence that history has left behind. A lot of archeology span involves excavating or exposing sites that have been buried in the ground over time. I've spent my last four summers studying at and working on archaeological excavations, so this is a special interest of mine. Pensbury Manor was excavated in the 1930s in an effort to discover more information about William Penn's original house. One of the exciting trends in archaeology right now is the use of modern technologies to help us understand and protect archaeological resources. Archaeological sites and artifacts are often called non-renewable resources because they are a source of information that cannot be replaced. The work that was done at Pensbury Manor in the 1930s left us with a lot of questions. The main problem was that the head archaeologist never submitted his final report. His specialty was Native American sites, so some people think he may have been worried about making a mistake and misinterpreting his findings. However, historians and archaeologists now wish that he had written something, even if it was imperfect. Without his report, we are also unable to fully understand where objects were found on the site. This knowledge would have helped us understand the timeline of when human activity was happening in different areas of the estate. There were a lot of other reasons for why this dig has ended up as a sort of historical mystery. But whatever the explanation, information was lost. One of the primary goals in modern archaeology is making sure that we record excavations as thoroughly as possible to help prevent stories like this from happening in the future. One of the coolest tools that we have right now to help us preserve information is called photogrammetry. Photogrammetry is a word that comes from photograph and the Greek word metron or to measure. It basically involves creating a 3D model by taking a lot of photographs of something and stitching them together. This is an incredible tool for archaeologists because it allows you to create a model of each layer of an excavation as you take it away. While there are some things you can't capture in a model like this, it still provides us with more information than a simple photograph. You can also make models of artifacts that you find as well. The main purpose of recording data this carefully is to make sure that other researchers, either now or in the future, will be able to look at what you found and understand it. They might even be able to use their knowledge to interpret the site in a new way. One of the best things about archaeology is that there are so many people with different areas of knowledge working together to study the past, from chemists to artists and everything in between. 3D modeling helps make this easier so that you can share models of artifacts, for example, from one site in the USA with an anthropologist in Italy, an engineer in Egypt, or even an art historian in Brazil. If 3D modeling sounds like something that you would want to try at home, there are quite a few apps available now that will let you use a smartphone camera to create a 3D model of a small object. I just tried one of these apps out today and it was pretty fun. The app that I tried is a free one. It's called Clone, spelled with a Q. And all you need to do to get started is to print out a little background like this one, pick a small object to model, and let the app walk you through the rest. Now, if you want to explore what sort of 3D models are already out there, the most popular site for sharing them is called Sketchfab. So if you find this interesting, you can explore models of things ranging from the Eiffel Tower to Pikachu. And above all else, stay curious. I hope I helped you guys get curious about archaeology today. Now, teaching and learning online is a new experience for me, as I'm sure it is for many of you. 
So if you have any questions for me at all, or if you just want to hear more about something that I mentioned, you can reach me by sending a message to Pensbury Manor's Facebook page. Thank you guys so much for tuning in.